My name is Sanjay Gupta. I'm a consultant cardiologist in York. Today's video is on the subject of POTS, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. In particular, I wanted to focus on a medication called LDN or low dose naltrexone, which is increasingly being used with good effect in patients with POTS. And I thought I would just talk about this condition, uh, about this medication with you. So the first thing to say is what is POTS? POTS stands for postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. Now this is a condition that is very poorly understood, very underrecognized, and often underdiagnosed or misdiagnosed. It tends to affect mainly young people, females more than men, and is characterized by orthostatic intolerance, meaning that the patient struggles to stand up for a prolonged period of time. Why do they struggle? They struggle because they develop symptoms when they stand up for a prolonged period of time. These symptoms include palpitations, dizziness, shaky legs, um, sometimes headaches, sometimes breathlessness, and even collapses. In addition, patients with POTS will also complain of a bunch of other symptoms. And Virtually all patients with POTS will complain of lack of refreshing sleep, severe fatigue, um, temperature dysregulation, brain fog. A lot of patients also have gut issues, IBS-like gut issues, which are incredibly debilitating. And virtually all my patients with POTS will complain of pain. They'll have pain all over. They may have fibromyalgia as well. Now, current treatment of POTS usually involves self-management, lifestyle changes, and also medications. But despite all these, patients with POTS still continue to struggle and have a suboptimal quality of life. And therefore, as a doctor who is interested in POTS, I'm always on the lookout for medications or anything out there which may help my patients. One of the big problems with medications with POTS is that, you know, before any medication gets adopted into kind of mainstream practice, people seek evidence, doctors want evidence, and confidence, the bigger the evidence base, the greater the confidence for a doctor to use medications. The problem in uh, POTS is that all the studies we have are very small studies, and therefore, even though medications may be shown to be beneficial in small studies, they don't get adopted as quickly in mainstream practice. And therefore, a lot of patients could potentially derive benefit, but don't get the medications because no one is prepared to use them because they're waiting for the evidence to accrue. But of course, it could take years for the evidence to accrue. And in the meanwhile, you know, these uh, young people with their lives ahead of them uh, are left feeling completely debilitated by their symptoms. Um, I wanted to talk about an interesting medication called low-dose naltrexone. And low-dose naltrexone is something which shows promise uh, in lots of chronic inflammatory conditions, but has been shown to also help people who have POTS. And I certainly have a few patients who are on it. I didn't prescribe it myself, but they came to me on it and they have noticed a benefit from it. So I thought I would do this video just to talk about low-dose naltrexone. Naltrexone is an opioid antagonist. It is therefore used in acute and chronic states of abuse. You know, it counteracts the effects of opioids. It's classically given in doses of 50 milligrams per day. Now, one of the interesting things with naltrexone is it... Um, it it follows the hormetic principle, meaning that whereas most medications, what you get is you get a linear dose response curve. So, you know, the dose increases, you get the benefit, and then the dose, uh, you can increase the dose further, but the benefit plateaus. With, low do with naltrexone, at low doses, it seems to have different pharmacodynamic effects and different beneficial effects on the body compared to at higher doses. And this is where a lot of interest came in, because at low dose, naltrexone works as a glial modulator. It, in very simplistic sense, it has an anti-inflammatory role. Okay, now what do I mean by low dose? Usually we use 50 milligrams a day, that's normal naltrexone. 
when we're giving doses of less than 5 milligrams per day, 4.5 to 5 milligrams per day, we refer to those uh, that dose as low dose naltrexone. Okay. People also have then, doctors have also divided low dose naltrexone into ultra low dose or low dose. So ultra low dose is anything less than one microgram per day. Anything between one microgram a day and 0.5 milligrams a day is considered very low dose naltrexone. And anything from 0.5 milligrams per day to 4.5 to 5 milligrams a day is termed low dose naltrexone, LDN. Now, the because of its anti-inflammatory effects, people have become very interested in seeing whether something like this could help patients with chronic inflammatory disease, such as Crohn's disease, fibromyalgia, which a lot of patients with POTS have, multiple sclerosis, cancer, chronic pain states. And I was just keen to look at what's out there about low-dose naltrexone, which may help patients with POTS. So the first thing I went looking for was the effect of low-dose naltrexone in patients with fibromyalgia. A lot of my patients have fibromyalgia. And there is some evidence that low-dose naltrexone may improve quality of life in patients with fibromyalgia. The first study evaluated 10 women with symptoms. Patients were given two weeks of placebo. Then they were given eight weeks of 4.5 milligrams low-dose naltrexone. And they had then had a two-week washout period. Following completion of the trial, six out of those 10 patients achieved a 30% reduction in symptoms. So overall, when the investigators looked, reduction in symptoms was only 2.3% on patients on placebo and about 30% on LDN, low-dose naltrexone. Patients also noticed that they had a reduction in how severe their worst pain was. Uh, they had reduction in fatigue. They had reduction in stress levels. Objectively, when their inflammatory levels were measured by a blood test called ESR, uh, the inflammatory levels were also lower. So encouraging data. The same research group then decided to give patients 12 weeks of low-dose naltrexone and then four weeks in placebo. And again, 57% of the patients, 28 patients, 57% of 28 patients reported a 30% reduction in symptoms. Patients were reporting better mood, better satisfaction with life. So really interesting um, in terms of side effects, patients who took low-dose naltrexone also reported more vivid dreams and perhaps headaches, but overall, the low-dose naltrexone was rated as being as tolerable as taking a placebo tablet. And the researchers also reported that if you reduce the dose to about 3 milligrams a day, the side effects were minimized. There was another study where they looked at actual um, objective markers of inflammation to see whether low-dose naltrexone reduced inflammation. And they found that low-dose naltrexone was indeed associated with lower levels of inflammatory cytokines, such as interleukin-2, interleukin-6, and tumor necrosis factor alpha. A lot of patients with POTS also have gut issues. And the question I was interested in, again, working out was, does low-dose naltrexone offer any benefit in patients who have gut issues? And I found a study uh, by an Israeli research group uh, in, performed in 2006 where they found they used low-dose naltrexone in 42 patients with irritable bowel syndrome. And they, these patients were given 0.5 milligrams LDN for four weeks. The drug was well tolerated. And three out of four patients uh, felt an improvement in their symptoms. Since there have been a bunch of other studies looking at low-dose naltrexone in inflammatory bowel disease, and again, encouraging results in terms of improving severity of symptoms and quality of life. So that's all encouraging data. What about side effects? Um, at high doses, there is a risk of causing liver damage. So this is if you're taking about 300 milligrams per day. Obviously, low-dose naltrexone is nowhere near there. We're looking at 3 milligrams per day. So usual kind of doses of naltrexone, not low-dose naltrexone, 50 to 100 milligrams daily is generally considered safe. There are some minor behavioral side effects reported, but this may just be due to the patient cohort that that dose is being used for, you know, patients with opioid um, 
disuse, um, misuse. A low-dose naltrexone is generally not associated with significant side effect, although it has to be said that data are limited because the studies are small. But in some patients, there may be more vivid dreams. Uh, some patients may have a little bit more insomnia. But um, if you then take the low-dose naltrexone in the morning rather than in the evening, uh, patients do um, fine and the, the side effects can be averted. So clearly, this is a very interesting medication and certainly worthy of more research. It's always important to bear in mind that whenever we have data from small studies, the effects are always exaggerated, right? And therefore, we need to use small studies like this to inform the design of bigger, well-designed studies to get a more accurate assessment of benefit, harm, and cost effectiveness. In the meanwhile, I would encourage everyone to do their own research about this really interesting medication and to discuss it with their medical care provider. So I hope you found this useful. Um, certainly, I think low-dose naltrexone may be something interesting to use in patients with POTS. And uh, let's see what happens. Once again, thank you so much for listening and thank you for all that you do for me. All the best. Bye.